This video describes the algorithmic design of curtain walls using ARCHICAD and the ARCHICAD Grasshopper connection. To create a new ARCHICAD curtain wall with Grasshopper, select one of the four available curtain wall components from the Design tab. Curtain wall, curtain wall boundary, curtain wall segment, and curtain wall boundary custom. Curtain wall component. The curtain wall component is generating a curtain wall by extruding the reference line defined by the curve input. The extrusion is perpendicular to the plane of the curve input. The height of the generated curtain wall is defined in the domain input and its external side is defined by the point input value of the same name. If the domain start parameter value is negative, then the extrusion will extend below the reference line. You can use a divide curve and a polyline component before connecting the curve to the input of the curtain wall component in order to control the segmentation of the curve. Curtain wall segment component. With this component, you can create a single curtain wall segment from a line input. The component also requires a plane point input parameter. The extrusion is perpendicular to the reference plane defined by the line and plane point inputs. The plane point also defines the curtain wall external side. Curtain wall boundary component generates a curtain wall element with a boundary of freely defined shape. The plane and the shape are defined by the closed polygon given as the boundary input parameter. Here too, an input point defines the external side. Curtain wall boundary custom component a modified version of the CW boundary component, use it to create a curtain wall with a custom pattern. The custom pattern is defined using a set of lines created in either Rhino or Grasshopper. The component's top four input parameters are the same as those of the regular curtain wall boundary component. Please note that in the boundary custom component, if you connect a curtain wall settings input component, the curtain wall scheme settings won't be applied. The custom frame axis input expects a set of lines coplanar with the boundary frame and all its points must lie within the boundary. The frame and panel settings input expect a frame or panel settings component. The custom frame class expects a set of integers. These inputs define the geometry of the custom frames. Each integer represents a frame class. Hover over the input parameter to see the available values. The boundary frame class expects a single integer parameter. This defines the geometry of the boundary frame, which is uniform along its entire length. Hover over the input parameter to see the available inputs for this parameter. With the panel points parameter, you can define the class of each panel created within the custom frames. This input parameter expects a list of points. Each point is assigned a panel class. This assignment takes place via the panel class input parameter. Settings components for curtain wall. With the curtain wall settings component, you can define the nominal thickness of the ARCHICAD curtain wall. The reference line offset, the layer, the home story, the ID, structural function, position, renovation status, and the property settings and classifications. And you can use a curtain wall scheme settings component to control the curtain wall scheme. For that, you can set the vertical and horizontal grid pattern by inserting a list of real numbers that define the CW scheme's pattern via the number and size of the grid cells. The crossing frame pattern input expects a list of Boolean values. Use these to define the direction of the crossing frame placed inside a given panel of the grid. From lower left to upper right corner, or from upper left to lower right corner. The number of values entered must correspond to the number of scheme cells, even if you do not want to place a crossing frame in each panel. Use the frame settings and panel settings components to define the types of frames and panels to use. For the frame and panel classes, hover over each input to see the available frame or panel types and use the appropriate number as input.